Hi there, I'm Oluwa Kemi. I create educational videos for both students and teachers as well as some other helpful do-it-yourself videos. And if you are watching my video for the first time, please leave a comment below, share and like. And please do click on the red subscription button. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and be educated. Hi, I'm Ulu Okemi. I'm so excited to have you here again to another Math YAG 2019 question, which goes to us. Evaluate 2 square root 28 minus 3 square root 50 plus square root 72. Do you know that this is simply a sort question? Good. And in case you don't understand sort right from time, not to worry, I'm going to break it down for you, for your easy understanding, okay? Good. So let us quickly um, go ahead. So in questions like these, what you look out for is to first of all simplify the numbers beneath the square root. And these are usually a combination of a perfect square and a prime number okay good so for instance we have square root 28 so this is a combination of a perfect square and a prime number okay so how do we figure out which is a perfect square and prime number you simply um, bring out the number then you divide with a false prime number and that is what did I hear you say 2? Good. 2. Or let us quickly just write prime numbers out. We are from 2, then followed by 3, then what? 5. Good. Followed by 7. Okay. Followed by what again? 11. Remember prime numbers are numbers that is divisible by 1 and the number itself. Okay. Good. But 1 is not a prime number. Okay. Good. So 2 in 28 is 14. You divide again by the same prime number, if it is still possible, of course. 2 in 14 is 7. Now the next prime number that is possible to divide 7 with our remainder is what? 7. Okay, so now you can see that 2 times 2 will give us a perfect square of 4. So 28 is a combination of 4 times 7. So that is what we're going to write down now. So we have 2, then the square root of 4 times 7. Okay? Then in the next um, sort, we have the square root of 50. So if we have 50, you go ahead to divide by the lowest or the first possible prime number which is what 2 so 2 in 50 is what 25 then can 2 divide number 5 no sorry 3 no so we go to 5 so if 5 divide 25 we are 5 then 5 can still go so that is it so now we can see that 5 times 5 will give us another perfect square number 25 so 50 is a combination of 25 and 2. Okay, I hope that is understood. 25 times 2 will give us 50. So next is 72. So 72, what do you start with? You start dividing with the lowest possible prime number, which is what? 2. So 2 in 72 will give us what? 36. Then 2 again will give us what? 18. Can 2 still go? Yes. 2 in 18 will give us 9. Can 2 go? No more. We go to the next possible prime number, which is what? 3. Good. So 3 in 9 is 3. Okay. 3 again and 3. That's it. So let us look for the possible perfect square. Here we have 2 times 2, that is a perfect square 4. Here we have 3 times 3, that is another perfect square 9. In case you have perfect square, you can just multiply perfect square, it will give you another perfect square. So 4 times 9 is what? 36, which is a perfect square. So now we have 36 times 
2. So 36 times 2 will give you 72. There may, of course, it may be possible that you don't know this already, so you, this is a quick method that you can use to find the two combination of the perfect square and the prime number. Okay, like I promised you earlier on that even if you don't know how to solve sort with this question, you find it so easy. Okay, so the next stage is you write out the number, then you square root the perfect square. Of course, the square root of four will be two. So you bring that out, okay? Then you leave the remaining um, number, which is 7, okay? Then you write 3. The square root of the perfect square in here is 25. 25, the square root of 25 is what? 5. Good. Then the remaining, the square root 2. All right. Yeah, the next is the square root of 36, which will give us what? 6. So you bring out the 6, then you write down the square root 2. All right. So I don't know if you notice any similarities. Yes, there are similarities. You can see this and this. They have the same number beneath the square root sign. Okay. So we're going to quickly going to work on that. So but let us quickly simplify these two times two. We give us what four square root seven minus this is going to give us 15 square root 2 plus 6 square root 2. You can see this more clearly now. Okay, good. So if we have instances like these that the same number are in the uh, square root sign, it means that you can directly simplify either by adding or subtracting whatever the case may be. So in this case we have minus 15, okay, plus 6 directly. So that is going to give us, okay, let us quickly write that out. That is going to give us a negative value, which is minus what? Minus 9. So now you have a single square root sine square root 2. Okay, so this is a final answer because you can simplify this further. All right, good. So now let's check the answer option to know which one is correct. You can see that the answer option C is the right answer. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.